I understand that using ADB and fastboot command prompt tools are not the easiest thing to do, but I hope I'm able to break things down in a way that makes them easy to follow and easy to digest. So I recently did a tutorial on how to use ADB push to send files from your computer to an Android device over USB. And there's a number of reasons why you may want to send files to your device, which I covered in that tutorial. But today I want to show you how to do the opposite. I want to show you how to pull files using ADB. We're going to pull files from the Samsung Galaxy S10 here. And this will work on any Samsung device or any Android device as long as you enable ADB USB debugging mode. And I'm going to show you how to pull these files to your computer, whether it's just a single file at a time or whether it's an entire directory, which can be great for backing up folders instead of having to go through multiple folders and right clicking them and clicking copy and clicking the paste. You can just use the command prompt to download files and folders from an Android device to your computer. So to do this, naturally we're going to have to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on our PC. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do that, if you look in the video description on YouTube for this video, then I will have a direct link to the full tutorial which will show you exactly how to install ADB and Fastboot tools on your computer. So with that done, you're also going to need to enable USB debugging mode within developer options on your Android device, which I also cover in that full tutorial. And with all that done, then we need to open up a command prompt a terminal or a Windows PowerShell in the folder that you want to download files to on your computer from this from the Android device. So let me show you that part right now. So like I said we need to open up a command prompt or Windows PowerShell after we have connected up our smartphone to the PC with a USB cable and you can run a command prompt through the Windows Run command if you want. Since we're actually downloading a file to a specific folder on our computer, I like to go ahead and create that folder. As you can see right here is right in the C directory. I just created a test folder. And then if I hold down the Shift button and right click, then I can open up a Windows PowerShell right in this directory folder if I want. And that's going to be important because this is, again, this is where the files are going to be downloaded. If you just open up a command prompt, it's going to default you to your Windows user directory. So just know where you're downloading your files to. Now here we have the Windows PowerShell. As I mentioned before, we're going to be using ADB to download these files. Specifically, we're going to be using the ADB pull command. So once we open up our terminal or command prompt or Windows PowerShell, we're going to type out ADB space pull space and then anything that you want to download. The thing is you have to know the exact folder structure in order to download the files or the folders. So, anything that you have downloaded into the root folder of your internal storage is going to start off with SD card forward slash. So, whether it's your downloads folder, which would be SD card forward slash download, or the camera folder, which is the SD forward slash DCIM forward slash camera, whatever folder that you want to download 
you need to get the entire folder structure again, which is usually starting with SD card forward slash. So I've just done some test screenshots on my Android smartphone here. And to show you how this works, like I said, we have a empty folder right here. And we go in here, we type out ADB space pull space quotation mark SD card forward slash DC, DCIM forward slash screenshots quotation mark and we're using these quotation marks whenever we want to download a full folder using ADB pool. All we have to do is press the enter key on the keyboard. We get a progress of how long that download took, how many files, etc. When we go back to that folder, you can see we have our screenshots folder right here. And there is the test screenshots that I did. Now I also told you that you know we can use this for a whole bunch of ways. The download folder is very common. Anything you download from say Chrome or anything you manually put there is going to be put in the download folder. And that download folder is located at SD card forward slash download. So if I type all that out, ADB space pull quotation mark SD card forward slash download, press enter. It's going to download all of the files I had in the download folder and it's going to put it right in that directory that I had on Windows or Macintosh or Linux. So there you can see how to download actual folders. If you wanted to just download a single file, so for example, I can type out ADB space pull, and then we need to use the folder directory and the full file name that we want to download. So just to pick a random application we have here, I have an APK file in the download folder that I downloaded with Chrome called app-release.apk. So to download this APK-release file that's located in my download folder on Android, I'm going to type out ADB space pull space SD card forward slash download forward slash app dash release dot APK. Press enter, the file downloads, and it is right there in that folder. So there you have it. That is how to download files from the PC using the ADB or you, from the Android device to the PC using the ADB pull command. The hardest part here is, is actually knowing the directory structure that you need to pull from. And there are actually some common ones that I'll show or that I've shown here such as SD card forward slash DCIM which will grab all of the things from your camera folder the entire downloads folder, there's movies folder, music folder, pictures folder, playlist folder, etc. And I'll give li uh, a list of these example directories in the full tutorial on my website.